All right, we're back for part three of three. If you recall, at the end of the last uh, uh, session, we had just drawn caverns or cake, and this is going to be our next, our, our basically our last encounter, George, before the big fight, right? Yeah, um, and this is especially because this is the, like this recorded session. Uh, we are a little bit uh, low on training points on at the normally one and that was because we had uh, some uh, some days where we only got one training point uh, per day where I usually you know get some with two or maybe three if I'm lucky so I mean uh, if my calculations are correct if we win this battle will be on 13 training points per gear lock total compared to like the usual 15 or 16 I tried to be but that said, I think we should still, I mean, assuming the rules aren't too bad, we should still be able to, to win. And if we don't, we have another chance on the last day. And as you pointed out, uh, I don't, have you played with four gear locks before? Yes, I have. Uh, so so it, uh, do you think that, that advantage of playing with four uh, makes up for the missing two or three training points? Probably, yeah. I mean, it. Uh, I think four is a bit easier than three, um, especially against an enemy like uh, Gendrix that has Hardy, so you have more turns. Um, so I, th I, th I think we, we should be okay, but I mean, that's. I just wanted to caveat it because I don't want viewers to look at it and say, oh, you know, George won, so uh, 13 training points are enough. I mean, usually, um, kind of, I, 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 we will be a little bit less powerful than when what, what I'm aiming for at the late game. Uh, but uh, we have some nice loot, we have the reinforced buckler, we have the skinning knife, which is going to be very important in the last fight. Uh, and um, let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, you need to review uh, everybody's build. Yes. All right, so here's Gilly. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the Zelfie seat, the utility parts so that might be really useful, although I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, especially because we have surprise in, in this fight, I'm going to try to use as less uh, consumable items as possible. Uh, we have, okay, we have really reflex power tin that uh, if, uh, if I recall correctly, we can use a bone to roll a die, is that what it does? The reflex powder tin? Mm-hmm. Can you click on it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we roll any one die this turn. Okay, I have to keep that in mind. Uh, we have the extra um, make leg. I think that's something we might want to use this fight rather save it for the boss because on the boss fight, uh, rolling lots of bones might not be an advantage because we might have the orb in play. So the the mech leg might be a liability in the last fight, but it might be a really good thing in this fight. Well, assuming we win this fight, what what do you what are you looking at as as far as your next couple of points? Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm I'm aiming to have everybody on six health. Okay. And that's that's critical because I don't want the limit to affect us as very much. I want the boss to be targeting any any bots that we we roll out and any uh, pets. So I want my gear looks to have high health, so I can always have uh, any kind of like any pets or bots uh, uh, taking the limit. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's that's one. So I want to increase Gilly's health, and then maybe um, I would say defense, but I might use the I might trade the buckler to Gilly, um, and maybe go for. Dexterity, so be able to roll more dice early on, and that, I think that's going to be uh, important because you know at the moment we're rolling four attack plus por probably maintaining the Wolverine. That's five, and we're going to want to roll either multi arrow or piercing arrow or marked enemy. So I think having an extra dexterity will be re really critical. I mean, we definitely cannot increase our attack or defense anymore without increasing dexterity. Uh, return fire might be good, but as I said, I, I'm probably going to try to avoid um, targeting my gear locks with uh, the big enemies. I'll try to, well, the first two or three rounds, soak up the hits with the companions and like the bots, if possible. That's that's my strategy. Mm -hmm. 
If if you uh, just as a sort of a, a an unrelated question, but mm -hmm. if, if if we didn't have Gillian Tink in this in this um, adventure, because we we have definitely shown the advantage of having one, the other, or both because mm. of uh, their companions and their bots to soak up power, uh, to soak up attacks. Uh, if you didn't have them, how would that change mm -hmm. your strategy? Uh, it depends who I would have uh, instead. Like if I had, for example, if I had Boomer, I might have gone for a smoke screen, something like, you know, just to kind of like cancel the ability of the bots uh, entirely. Um, if I had, uh, okay, if I had patches or, or Picket, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, Pickett has his uh, intercept, is it, no, no intercept, he has that, uh, that die on the bottom left that lets you sort of like ignore an attack or something like that, and that's something that might be able to just focus on oh, the defensive well, re abilities. Repost. Repost, yeah, that, that's it. And uh, barring that, another thing I would like to do when I'm facing uh, uh, Kendricks is to just have a, a die on the kind of like on the abilities I don't use much. For example, Gilly, I might have improved his defense just to have a, a spare ability point to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, I would just kind of like sacrifice the abilities first because realistically, he only gonna use limit once a turn. So that's maybe five five turns. So if if I try to target different gear locks and get rid of one like ability I don't need first and then maybe go for uh, reducing the the maximum health for a gear lock that already has a low current health so it might not affect him as much i mean i definitely wouldn't uh reduce dexterity or attack i would go for health and defense first okay because uh, we need the attack and we need dexterity unless unless we we are where i mean in the final turns if if Kendrick has low health and because it's hardy we might only need to roll few attack dice uh, especially if something is broken so if, if if say gilly's got four attack and he's got his two attack dice broken from any columns or something i could reduce his attack uh by two and that's the two broken dice i think uh, that's how i would interpret it i don't know where that's that's legal though i mean i'd have to clarify like if you have four attack and two attack is broken, but then you lose the extra two. Can you say that the extra two are the two that are broken, or will you have to break the two that you got left? And that's a that's a big distinction. I hope uh, I hope we don't have to uh, make a call on that. Right. Uh, there are some corner cases that don't only come up like every I don't know, 20, 30 games. That's why I never had to answer that question yet. With somebody like Gendrick's defense is, is critical just because of the amount of time it takes to bring him down. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's Tink. Yep. Um, okay, so what he's got? He's got the, the three good attachments that we want. I mean, we probably will want the Prodder and another health if we want this battle. I mean, the Prodder. Uh, just to give us some extra choices, because I want to use the spider bots. So we're going to have three attachments, uh, so I want one more that's quite useful. If I had some extra training points, I might have gone for armor plating and or fifth leg as well, and maybe another attack, just for, to have that extra, you know, die to sacrifice in case we have to use something from limit. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, good point. Yep. But uh, I don't think we have that uh, luxury. Because I'm I'm like two, two train points short than, than my 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 plan. Uh, but I think we should, with the use of our companions, we should hopefully be able to, to do it without losing anything uh, in the first two or three rounds. And that's the, if we can manage the battle the first three rounds, uh, I think we 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 win the boss fight. And it also depends on which uh, twenty point body we're gonna get. I want to have the great worm if possible, or potentially the other, the, um, the, the bookworm. So those two I can kill relatively fast. Whereas if I get the bone dragon, his heart is, so I won't be able to kill him as fast. And if I get the golem again, uh, it's going to be tough. Because yeah. the golem, I think, is the, is the hardest of the 20 point bodies. And uh, I think we, we will see that in this fight. The golden golem. 
Golden Gauntlet, yeah. Uh, here's the Nugget. So Nugget, okay, so you have... Um, hmm. So now I'm thinking like uh, what that I would definitely w not gonna go for Deja Vu because it's got a lot of bones, and as I mentioned before, in the final battle, bones will be a little bit of a liability uh, compared to to usual. So I might go for a health. Uh, well, I'll definitely go for another health, and then I'm just thinking: should I go for dexterity or defense? So with six dexterity, I would be able to roll one, two, three, four, five. Six, uh, three attack, one defense is four. The long blade five, or something else. I mean, I might go for the extra defense, just for for having something to sacrifice on limit. Really, that's that's what, what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I could get combat proficiency as well, although it's a little bit unreliable in terms. Of, I don't know whether, whether it's going to give me something I, I need at the point that I need it. So that's like, it's, it's um, you know, if I had two more training points, again, I would probably have gotten combat proficiency as well. And with Tantrum, so Tantrum will probably need to get um, at, at Dexterity to raise him up to seven. So we'll roll five attack, one defense, and something else, or maybe roll lots of somethings. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for the second one, we might go for another health, or potentially the like worm uh, ability. Although I don't know how useful it's going to be, or I might go for anger management. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be an extra health to raise him to seven, or anger management. Um, I, I might go for anger management actually. Now I'm thinking about it, but it will. I will have to see how things go. Let me go in here also just to see. Okay, so we know we got a clay on the pearl Opera and orc rager uh, mm. coming up. And uh, let's see who. So, the, so who's uh, missing right now? The golden golem. Yes. Right, so he's coming out in this battle. And then, yes. and then in the next, and then in the final one, it's, uh, it's anybody's call. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, just lastly, it's cast cameras or cakes. So we're going for the bottom option. Is that correct? Correct. Right. Party will have surprise. Okay. And that's very important because my my hope is to kill the golem before it gets to act. So I think if I'm, I remember correctly, I, he has nine health. So. If my maths are correct, so I've got two from Axe Collector, I've got at least one from Longblade, that's three, and I will have at least two from Tink Spot if I can place him just adjacent. So that's five minimum, so I'll need another four. So it means that either it's going to be the Bleed die, so uh, Nugget's Dagger, if it doesn't fail. So I've got five for sure, and then it's either going to be the Bleed, and I might... Uh, I might roll, I have to break uh, one or two attack dice between Gilly and, uh, and the Nugget. And uh, if I have to do that, uh, so be it. I mean, uh, if, if we kill the Golden Golem in the first round, then the rest of the fight is going to be relatively straightforward. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're ready to go. 32 batting points. Here we go. Well, that's not hmm. well I'm, I'm not going to go for a 20 point body right. because I know exactly what one's going to be, so I'm going to go for 5 point. Uh, let me think. Um, the dragon might actually be useful in, in case we could attack the column to finish him off. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, and also we want the dragon to kill in order to, um, you know, in order to use on the skinning dagger uh, for the um, for the boss fight, because if we have a dragon, we be able to uh, get surprised over any dragon enemies. Mm -hmm. And also his six initiative won't count as much in this fight because we'll surprise him, so we'll definitely want to keep him. Yeah, and he's definitely coming out. 
in lane what three? Three, I believe. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The the, the twenty the twenty will be in lane one. The orc rager in in lane two, and then this guy in lane three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, you know we're keeping him on top. Yes. Okay, so the golem is uh, right Well, I'm not going to weaken the golem because oh. my aim is to kill it. Right, so my, I, I really I, I have to make 100% sure that I kill the golem in the first turn. Right. So what I want to weaken is probably, uh, should I go for, I don't really want to weaken the dragon. Uh, let's, let's place it on, on, on lane two because the orc rager might be a bit of a threat. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Uh, that's the reader. I, I thought I was a bit confused. I thought it was the other, the other um, orc. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Not as deadly as you thought. There is. There's five. Uh, there's four. Uh, five point bodies remaining. Right. Can you click view to see who, who else might be coming? Can you click view on the five points? In the uh, view the view button just to see what what are the other ones that we oh, have. Oh, who are the four that are missing? Yeah, it should uh, be like a two more. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, so the the both melee. So at the moment we we got thirty two body points. So we're gonna have three five point bodies because the golem is gonna bring another one. So it's oh, gonna be the, right. the ranger and the delinquent and one of either the cobalt fanatic or the orc. Warmonger, and I don't. I think that third enemy is probably going to be the most dangerous out of the three, because the dragon we want to keep for engulf, and the ranger is probably less less uh, problematic. And I think the Cobalt fanatic has three attack, the Orc Warmonger has three attack, and I think we'll place the trap on lane four because of that reason, because I want that fourth that fourth guy that comes out to be weakened. Okay, so on the melee, <laughs> on four melee, correct? Yes, yes. <laughs> and now look like it, uh, I've jinxed it and I'm going to get the bone because I spent so much time analyzing it. I deserve to, get, to be unlucky. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we got the bone. Uh. Okay, let's place the gear looks and now can we move yeah, them, them all also that they're higher than the the bodies? Which is a shift click and drag. Mm-hmm. Yep, there we go. And now let's think, what is the best positioning so that we kill the Golden Golem in, uh, in turn one? Okay, so I, I want Tanjum not adjacent, so I want Tanjum probably on lane two melee. Let's, let's move him there. So he can throw a, an Axe Collector just to guarantee two damage, mm -hmm. and he can tank the other two guys at the beginning. Um, then... We could place. We want the bot to be adjacent to uh, to the golem. So we want Ting maybe on lane uh, three melee, potentially. Right there. Yep. You want you want the bot right here, as opposed to here. Uh, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking. Are you thinking of putting nugget here or? I'm I'm actually th let let me think now. Okay. Uh, okay, if if I do a trick with engulf, I will need to be able to target somebody who is next to the golem. So I will need to place maybe I could move oh I could move thing one up and place the bot in lane one. And that might be a good idea because then I could attack thing with the engulf and he's going to uh, hit himself and the golem. Uh, so, uh, no, lifting on, on three. 
Oh, I thought you said. So who? Okay, who are you thinking of putting in here? Um, it's either going to be the Wolverine if we manage to do it, or or the bot. Oh, all right, all right, okay. So it depends whether I manage to get the Wolverine out. Uh, so I think that might be a good idea. So I've got options. And let's put Nugget on uh, for melee, I think. Well, wait a second. Um, yeah. Okay, so if we get, we're going to get the bot. So, so we're, we're going to get the bot out so the, the golem will go after the bot. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's either going to be on three. Or, or one, depending on if, if we place the Wolverine, then we're probably going to place the, the board on three. But if we fail to, to place the Wolverine, then we'll probably move thing to three, uh, the, the yellow place, and, and put the board diagonally down into lane one. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, and let's place uh, Nugget on lane four, melee. We're good? Yes. All right. So we're starting. So we have six dice. And we're going. are we rolling all six dice or are we rolling one attack? Um, we're risking rolling one attack. Uh, well, I'm attacking the, well, I don't need to declare, but I'm, I, should be, I will be attacking the golem unless you know, I rolled really low, I might decide to attack somebody else, but, so do I need the Tinker Bolo? I'm hoping to kill him, so probably not. So it'll be Long Blade, Nugget Stagger, the other three, and one attack. So we spend, uh, le I don't need Tumble either, because, you know, I'm, I'm at the top of the initiative. So let's spend two Sling Stones. Yeah, two sling stones and um, and uh, that's three. Let's play sidestep and a defense. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and Nagas dagger. So Nagas dagger, sidestep and a defense. Defense. And uh, sidestep. Sidestep. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I think that's overall the best thing we can do, and we we're, we're attacking the golem, but we. If I roll a 2 on the attack, I will definitely use it just to ensure he's dead, and even though I might break an attack. If I roll 2 once, I will have to think about it. It will also depend on what I get on the bleed. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's place the bones. Do uh, you want to hold on to sidestep? No, I, I've got a good idea for the sidestep, actually. Um, so let's place a bleed on the column. A bleed, one bleed, okay. And we'll, let's break the die to do two damage on the column. And now we can uh, use uh, four bones, or like all the bones, to do the disable option. If you r see what it does, I disable effect that to any adjacent one or five point body. I think that's going to be good for uh, for that um, cobalt. So it's going to be disabled for the rest of the fight. So no, no hardy. So it's going to make him a lot easier for us. Mixing up the stone. Okay. So, and that's it, isn't it? I think so. Uh, this, uh, I can uh, exhaust. Okay, yeah. Gilly? So, m moving on to Gilly. So, that's three, that's effectively three out of nine points that we did on the Golem. Right. Uh, compared to what we need. So, now let's roll. Uh, so, who are we attacking? Are we attacking. The golem, we're not attacking the golem because we don't want to break all his ties. Uh, who is the biggest threat? I think at the moment the biggest threat is the cobalt, who is now disabled, so we can kill him. 
So let's draw the four attack dice. The Wolverine, as you said. And let me think. Alright, so let's... Uh, should I use the mech leg? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, or the marked enemy. So use three and the marked enemy. Okay, let's play play let's play the following. Uh let's do three attack and the marked enemy. So this is what we're having extra dexterity would be really good, but unfortunately it so is who, what it is. So who are we targeting? Uh the, the cobalt? cobalt elite. Yes. Okay. Alright, well we got him. We got some bones. And we're taking, uh, who, uh, so we're uh, two damage uh, on this guy? I'm thinking now, I can put it on any, I can put the double damage on anybody I, I want. So now, given that I, I'm probably not going to be able to kill him, I'm just thinking to, to place that on, on the, the Orc Rager, because he's going to be attacked by Tantrum. He says my place on anybody, it doesn't have to be my target. Oh, so let's right, place right, it right. on the Rager. Okay. So my thought is that if, if uh, if, if I had damaged, uh, if I had three damage on the the lead, or even two, I might be able to double it. But now it doesn't. It's not worth. So I'm just gonna do the one damage on the cobalt. And I'm just thinking whether I should use the bones now or save it. I think I'll save it for now because we might need it uh, later. Uh, or should I use a bone to reroll? Is there anything I need to roll? I don't. I well, don't I really want to. Also, have the reflex powder tin, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm just saying. I, I don't really want to reroll anything because the best thing I could do is just do one more damage. So it's probably not worth right now. Let's let's keep them. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately. Do you want to re-roll this? Uh, okay. This is where the rules. I'm not a hundred percent clear whether I can roll the build down its own at this point or, or, uh, before and then deploy the board or whether I have to deploy the board first or kind of like if, if I roll the die it's like all dice are rolled at the same time so if I roll the die I'm not going to be able to deploy the board at the same turn so I'm thinking just to play it, uh, play it safe for the time being and just assume that it's the worst possible thing for us so I'm just going to Deploy Spider-Bot 2 with their horn. You want to give them another... Um... Yeah, yeah. So it's one dex, two to deploy. Uh, roll, uh, roll their horn, roll Cog and Spanner. And that's it, isn't it? And uh, I have two defense, or uh, two defense. Uh, two, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so we'll get this guy first. So we got that. Um, just thinking whether I want to use it, actually. Um, so let's place the defense on the active slot first, because I definitely want to do that. And now what I'm tempted to do I want engulf to actually work. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want to uh, actually use their horn at the moment. Um, I want to use it probably next time. So I probably probably should have gone for uh, fire and armor. That that oh. was me being a little bit uh, short-sighted. But I think we've got the battle under control. So I'm not going to take it back. So let's stand the guy on the right. I don't think we could have got. Uh, could we have gotten the firing arm? I don't think so. We we could uh, rotate it just to get only the fire arm. Oh oh like Rather that. Than, uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Okay so let's stand the cobalt on the right. And do two or two damage on the golem. Okay. So now the way it works. Um, Hmm. 
So the way it works is going to take one from bleed, so it's going to be on three or on four. And it's going to take two from uh, tandem, so it's going to be on two. And hopefully, we're gonna, it's going to take damage from engulf. And worst case scenario, he might be on one and hit our bot. And then he'll die. Uh, but we'll be able to kill him next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's had a bit worse. Uh, actually, I've got some really, really bad rolls so far, but it's still on the means that our strategy is going to be a little bit less optimal than I wanted. Just have to improvise on the spot. So and now... You want to throw an axe at the golem, I presume? Definitely. And let's roll five attack. And... What else? Should I roll the def oh, I'll, I'll roll the free defense from the reinforced buckler, definitely. And do I want like a cobalt? I'm not go really going to be attacked. I'm not really going to be attacked. I mean, I could disable him. Uh, I mean, the other guy is disabled anyway. I mean, let's let's roll a way of the wild. All right. Probably not going to be important because I, I should kill him. Yeah, so so th three damage becomes six. So the the guy is dead. Right. So one on the body count, and one on rage. No. I think that takes care of him. Yep. Wait, uh, hang on a second. Okay, yeah, he won't hold that. I thought somebody had a throwing axe, but I guess not anymore. No. Okay. So now we attack the Wolverine with uh, with Engulf. So it's going to hit both Tundrum and Tank, but it's also going to attack the Golem. So I, I really want four, for two. I mean, I roll high. This is the time I'm rooting for the enemy. <laughs> so right. it's gonna also going to break himself. It's going to break his dice as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's hard. He yep. takes two. Which has defense. And he has defense. Uh, and Tantrum has, has def one, one defense. He's going to take one and increase his rage. That worked perfectly. And it, it weakens the target. Oh, it didn't roll any bones, right? So weakened doesn't even activate. So I have to worry about that. Okay. And take one, two damage. Oh, so that's it. We yeah. actually got him. Wow. Yeah. He's stunned. He's stunned. Round two. Let's uh, move some uh, some um, body count further to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Okay. So nugget can roll his uh, hero to attack because one is broken. Uh, one defends the long blade. Uh, let's roll Tinger Bolo and dash just because we can. <laughs> just attacking obviously the you know the cobalt next to here. So that's two damage. Because uh, not hardy, he's he's disabled. And let's place the let's place the bolo back, but let's use the um, the dash. Oh, I could just give her the um, the. Just put it on the active. Yeah, slot. That, that'll remind her. Yeah, yeah, sure. And let's uh, get a, a slingstone. That's going well. OK. 
Okay, with Gilly. Just thinking. Uh, okay, so we spend it exerted. So now is the is the companion's turn. It's just going to do it, uh, uh, damage on the golem. The, the small golem, the, yeah, golem child. So now, Gilly will attack the cobalt elite with uh, four attack dice. And let's also roll the extra mech leg. And it's a good opportunity to get his innate plus one now. Oh, uh, three attacks dice. Four. Four? But it's good four want, attack. But you wanted to roll mech, mech leg as well. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, three attack dice. Yeah, because I forgot that we used one dex uh, on, on the Wolverine. Here we go. And I'll add it. And now we do three damage on the Cobalt to kill him. And that's it. Uh, now, what we really want is to trade attachments on the bot, if possible. So, uh, we might go for a bone, but at the moment, what we want to do is roll, let's exhaust his defense, roll another two defense. And let's roll that, uh, uh, the die as well, the, um, just for bones, roll that air horn. So now this is a good example, like, you know, I, I'm, it was a misplay, I should really have gone for the fire arm instead of uh, their horn, or, or maybe the alternator. So I, I, at some point I thought I want to disable the dragon, or actually I could disable the golem. It might, it might, that might be useful for now. Yeah, so I, I, I think regardless, we've got this pretty much wrapped up. I don't think we'll yeah, yeah. have a problem. And do two or two damage on the golem and roll his defense. Uh, oh. oh, that's nice. Too bad we're, we're not really using it. We're not really using it, exactly. So, real roll. I'm just thinking. Gonna execute him anyway. So let's roll uh, the five attack dice and uh, the one defense and uh, the buckler. So that we'll five attack to defense. Okay. And why do you say we're going to execute? The well, if if we don't kill him, it means we have a lot of bones. So we, you know, we will be able to uh, execute. Oh, will be oh, one point oh, six. And bring him up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could, I mean, but probably we're going to kill him. So we'll give him a couple of those raids before. Yeah, he is dead. That's more than enough. So one more body count. And that the one more bone. And I think it's time to use it just to refresh Axe Collector again. Just for the one Axe, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's at this point in time, uh, you know, we have a golem that's got one damage, and we have uh, a dragon that can't attack. So we have yeah. two innates and one and and two non innates. Is that right? That's correct. Nothing. Oh. And just attacks the bot with with one die. One damage. And that's it. So. so, who do you want to kill? Should I just thinking? Should we go all the way up? Because he's got a lot of uh, lot of defense. We don't really. Um, yeah. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the dash to move here, move here for free. Uh, towards uh, the top left. We're going to get our so all the way up gonna, here through using yeah, two decks. We use two decks yeah. and two free movement. 
So move Kadex up to four. Yes, and let's roll to attack the long blade and a defense. Okay, so we remove the defense, yes. Let's place the defense uh, on the active slot. And let's take one more thing. So here with Gilly, uh, let's uh, roll the four attack of first. Uh, yeah, first for free, we hit the um, the golem, and let's roll four attack against the dragon. That's five. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, we can do like auto damage to kill uh, the dragon, and then we're just going to go and execute the the golem, right? I mean, I don't think it's anything. Well, we'll just go and fall, put ever many dice. Let's throw five dice. And if, if even if we roll all bones, we can just execute. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. So it's a piece of cake. As the the you know, we didn't go for the caverns. We went for the cake. A <laughs> piece of cake. Very nicely done. <laughs> okay, so we're getting two and one. All right. So well, we don't need the progress points, but I'll record it anyway, just for posterity. And now two training mm -hmm. points, starting with Gilly. So one of them is going to be health. Yes, and one of them. Uh, Okay. Dexterity, yeah, we want the dexterity. I mean, it would be good to have defense, but I think with the dexterity, it gives us options to roll the four attack dice and the marked enemy and the Wolverine. Mm -hmm. If we need to, I think that's going to be really important. Um, and uh, you wouldn't think about another companion because the Wolverine will only last two rounds. Um, it would, it would be good. It's like all this stuff is good if you have the extra training points, but at the moment we just don't have the training points for, the, for it, mm -hmm. really. And uh, the, the important thing is, is to actually get him out. Uh, and if we don't, we might uh, need to re-roll using that, um, that, uh, the loot, the trove loot we have. So Tink will increase the health and we'll get the Proder. And Nugget will get health, and I think I said the dexterity, right? Or, oh, no, it's defense. Said defense. 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 Yeah, yeah, defense. That's good. And with Tantrum, I had dexterity, and that's where I'm thinking. Is it worth getting anger management? I mean, I'm just thinking, I, I would really want to be in that much of a, of a need to execute somebody early. It would be good if it happens, but I don't think we should count on it. Um, so if we don't do that, we could do, like a worm would be nice if we get um, strengthen. Strengthen is more like becomes like an extra attack, which we, but we don't really have the dexterity. Oh, the dexterity for it. Yeah, so I'm thinking just to get a full health. Let's play safe. I mean, I would definitely go for like a worm if I thought it would be useful, but at this point in time, I'm not not so sure. I think health to be on the safe side. That means then that we lose if we if somebody's going after the strongest, we're we don't, we're going to lose our choice. But no one really. I mean, the only people that go for strongest are 
I mean, Gendrix does a go for strongest, and all the enemies, for all the 20 point buddies don't go for strongest. Wow, you remember that. <laughs> uh, only, only the Golden Golem does, but uh, I mean, I've got two scout, scout attempts with, uh, with Gilly, so I should have enough scouting to avoid Golden Golem. Really. All right. So my aim is to get, hopefully, the, the Great Worm as, as the 20 point body, because we'll be able to surprise him and kill him uh, early on or damage him early on. Uh, barring that, we could go for maybe that Bookworm, but he's going to poison us uh, in the late early game. It's going to mean we're going to need some healing. Um, so now loot, loot wise. Uh, ideally, I'd want to trade things around to have the reinforced buckler to Gilly, and there's a reason for that because uh, Gilly is re re relies on a lot of uh, like rolling normal attack dice, mm -hmm. and if the orb is there, uh, we're gonna suffer. So we want the option to have some defense to soak up some damage potentially from the orb, and he. You know, he goes first in initiative as well, usually. So let's assume we're going to surprise. Cool. So we can use the. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll no, that's on. Yeah, sorry. Let, we're gonna, let's discard it because we're not going to need it. Let's discard. Let's use it on Tantrum and discard it. We're back here. Yeah, let's give the utility parts of the self seeds to, to Tantrum for now. Okay. Mm, is there anything else that we need to sh shift around? I don't. I don't think there is at the moment. I mean, the ogre herbs would be good where they are. Actually, I'm thinking to give the ogre herbs. Um, I'm just thinking. Should we? Um, it's not going to need them as much. Well, okay, let, let's leave it where it is. Right. Uh, the rusty optics is okay where it is. Uh, Nuggets got... So let's scout with everybody. Uh, just leave the corner, I don't really mind. The one point bodies are not going to be relevant in, in this fight. A five point, although I know what I'm gonna face. I mean, I, I guess there's not enough enemies in the stack, right? He's the only person in the stack at the moment, or at least avoid the ones that we don't want. Uh, just right, just leave him. Um, fine. We're going to day nine. And uh, is it set up? Uh, okay, let's use the um, let's use the camo to reduce uh, uh, body points to thirty-four. Uh, who? I think it's a camo. Gilly? It's in Gilly. Yeah. So reduce it to thirty-four, and now we can set up Tarambat. And remember, we we're using now that we're using the um, the skinning knife on Nugget. Uh, so let's go 20 point body. We we want to. Um, okay, let me think. Oh, move him to the bottom. Let's let's do again. Let's try another one. <laughs> Aren't you, it's uh, a risk. Yeah, it it's is a risk. risk. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the. But yeah, well, it's a one chance out of three. Yeah, but we're gonna have another twenty point scout. Oh, oh, right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, if I, I didn't have. Okay, now, now that's that's where we need to think about it. Who would you like to have gotten? The Great Worm. But we're going to have a 50 50 chance of getting him. If I had the Great Worm, it would be really good. This guy is going to die in the first round, 
but he's going to do lots of damage to us uh, before he does. And that's not really good. Unless we roll a six on initiative with Gilly. Yeah, that's a Well, I think let's, we'll keep him. We will keep him because, you know, it just, it's too much of a risk. So the, for, the, for the traps, let's see who's going to come up. Uh, let's look at the, so it's, we're going to have the Warmonger with three attack ties. We're going to have, so we could, we could debuff him, we could debuff Gendrix, really. I mean, I, th I think we should debuff Gendrix. Just put the, no put the way. trap on lane one, uh, is it ranged, isn't it? That's where he, oh, Gendrix is ranged? I believe so. Oh, yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, no six. Yeah, that was asking a lot. Okay. Now we need to move. Um, we need to move the two dragons, so uh, the blue and the purple, underneath Nugget, because they're surprised. Yeah, that's why I wanted the red worm because we're going to have another tw uh, twenty point body being surprised. But uh, and and now this is not great, but I don't think he's going to kill us. He's going to do lots of damage to the three weaker ones, but he's not going to kill us. And we should be able to heal with all good herbs and Zalfus Aids and stuff, at least. Can, can, we, can I see the loot just to see the healing options at the moment? Uh, Ting has the all good herbs, okay. And the Nugget mixed has berries. mixed berries. And uh, Tandrum has Zalfus Aids and be able to heal uh, Gilly. Perfect. Uh, so let's think about placement then. Um, we really want to, uh, what did we get on the thing style? We got a good result, didn't we? I think we did. We got, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to use air horn prodder and firing arm. Um, or, and, huh, so be able to place him there just to you damage mean, you're going with firebot three no doubt yeah yeah i'm just I'm just thinking whether i should um so we won't think near the right side because we're going to place the bot on 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 four let's put thing on uh, on four ranged uh-huh so nugget uh, oh, can you move uh, the boss underneath Nugget? And the the four green will will be above Nugget. Oh, I'm. I'm you, yeah, I'm yeah, I messed them up. The, the other one. Okay, so Nugget will act after the green guy. That's not a problem because the green guy is going to be engaged with the bot and probably will be, you know not in a very good spot. We could, ideally we want Gilly and, um, I'm just thinking, Gilly and, and Tantrum to work on the, f uh, on the guy on lane 3. So let's move Tantrum on lane 3. Uh, 3, yeah, on the left. So we could place the Wolverine there, and let's move Tandrum on lane, no, lane two. Hmm? Sorry, at, at, uh, sorry, not, not Tandrum, uh, Nugget on lane Nugget. two. To where? Uh, lane two melee. So that way, should be able to, uh, it should be closer. I'm just thinking, should we move here maybe on one, so she's close to the boss, and move uh, Gilly to lane two, so we can put the Wolverine 
Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. Um, another alternative I'm thinking, I'm just thinking uh, a bit ahead, if, we c if, if there's a way we could block uh, a lane just in, in terms of the orb, but I think that's a very risky plan. I don't want to mess around my positioning for that. So I think let's go with this. This looks uh, like a winning strategy. And uh, let's hope he does roll too. So he's going to roll against the three uh, gear locks, like a nugget, uh, ting, and gilly. So my plan is to kill him him in the first round. So one on Gilly, okay. Oh, we'll just yeah, nugget and then move to Gilly. Two and Tink. One. Right. So takes two damage. Uh, uh, poison goes to. Uh, okay, interesting. So what he, we want to do is to roll four attack, the marked enemy and call Wolverine. And we're doing it against the 20 point body. He has the buckler, so we're giving him a... Yeah, yeah. And, we're and, and, the, and the, yeah, exactly, and the defense. Uh, where are we? Against this guy. Right. Yes. And roll four attack in the, the double two. That's going to be amazing. Okay, that's not amazing. Uh, let's place it back. Uh, four damage. It's okay. At least we got the Wolverine out. It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna hit the limit, I think, and do four damage on the on that enemy. Okay. Now think. Takes two damage. Let's use the three ogre herb, two ogre herbs to move him up to, to five. Uh, how, wait a second. That three uses, I took two. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we need to use it twice. So you use this completely just to move him up to five. So one, yeah. So he was at three. He was so at three, so now he's down to one. So he, he, we had two uses, and he was at three. So we used oh, both he used that two uses, okay. That's what I wasn't yes. sure about. Yes. So now we uh, use spider port 3.0. We increase it to four battery. We deploy it, and we have Ironhorn, Prodder, and Fire Arm. Three, and let's do. Should we do a defense or Kogan Spanner? I'm just tempted between the two. Let's do Kogan Spanner. Uh, I'm just finding yeah. that uh, generally earlier on, it's important to use. Just use your heavy guns early because if you get an advantage early on, it all like snowballs in your favor and vice versa. If you are on disadvantage early on, it's not really good. Um, good. Right. So let's stun that uh, that orc. And um, we do two uh, two to damage on the orc. And we we disable it. 
Uh, we'll just put the, the air horn. Yep. And now we have the option of doing two damage to either the Bogworm or one damage to Kendrix. And I'm tempted to do the two damage on the Bogworm just to play it safe. Although that said, let 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 me think. We we. We're gonna go have Tundrum is gonna roll a lot of dice, and then we have Nugget, and and uh, she she could attack. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go for the Bogworm because I want uh, Nugget to attack the boss. I'm definitely doing that. And one damage on Gendry isn't gonna be uh, that important, but I really want not to risk uh, killing the not not killing the Bogworm. Okay. Before we move on to Tantrum, I'm just thinking in terms of the bones, what do we do with Ting's bones at the moment? Should we use that to put the alternator on instead of the Proter? Uh, maybe not yet. We might, might uh, we're, we're going to have to use it because we're going to need to do something. Can we see the backup plan options mm -hmm. uh, at the moment for one and two? Restart a bot or heal a bot. Mm, maybe not yet. Okay. Let's carry on. So Tantrum will use the Zulfi seeds to restore Gilly up to four. And actually, now that I'm thinking, I think you you might have been right in like... Um, we might have wanted uh, Tantrum to take that poison because it has more healing options with the body count and stuff. So maybe increasing health to seven was a mistake, and that's something I, you know, I, I'm admitting because it's, I'm just thinking now it might not have been such a good idea in, uh, after all. But so regardless, just the choice, you mean? yeah, I mean, we and we, I probably would have taken the choice because. Tandrum has more recovery options than the other gear looks. But anyway, let's move him one up. And let's roll five attack dice. Should I roll something else? Should I roll Horn of the Zerker? Just thinking. I'm not going to roll Cripple because it's pointless. Uh, I'm not going to roll Way of the Wild. Um, let's roll Horn of the Zerk. No, let's roll Defense, actually. So pl place the board, the bone, the, the bone, and kill that, that body. And we use Axe Collector against uh, Kendricks. So the uh, the orc is um, stunned. Okay, so this is uh, gone. So Nugget will take two poison damage, and then she will use the mixed berries to go up to six. And she will move one up. And let's roll the long blade. Nugget Stagger Tinger Bolo. Uh, dash. And should we do sidestep as well? Or defense. Let's do sidestep for now. While well, we still don't have a, you know, an orb around. Okay, you good? Uh, yes. Perfect. So do one damage on Gendrix. Put a bleed on Gendrix. And uh, take his uh, attack dice to minus three. Oh, great. 
to move um, the touch die up or on on here and let's uh, let's put the bones on, on the backup plan we might we might need those maybe to disable somebody later All right. and I'm thinking now it might be a good idea to move her out of the way just to move her down and to the left and there's a reason for that I want I want that uh, the Wolverine to be able to do a damage to Kendricks so we're using dash there yes so now okay so now he takes the damage from bleed and now he chooses targets like for for the purposes of um, of limit because if he rolls he attacks the two weakest and that's going to be the Wolverine and Gilly but if I roll a bone I'm gonna put a limit on the Wolverine, so basically it's not gonna affect anybody. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the orb is going to come so over here. Oh, and, and you know, just a side note for people. Uh, we uh, so we never played. What 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 is it? The something in the orb, the language of the orb, or we never got the, the second Tyrant encounter, the one that has you placing orbs all over the place. Uh, but uh, if you had to do that, you just double click a blank space and it creates a chip that you can treat as an orb or whatever. In case you mm -hmm. wonder how you do that. And now we're moving on to the Cobalt. Uh, there's more coupled, and this is going to roll one against the Wolverine. It takes one because it's hardy, and we're moving on to the next uh, next round. We got a five coming out. And then Gilly, Larry, it takes one. Okay, so now. <coughs> Uh, yeah, it was dexterity. Now the Wolverine will move to to the boss and do a damage. Actually, I'm just thinking. Do we want to kill that hardy enemy first so we can access the orb more easily? I'm just tempted to do that instead because the boss is, well, we don't want him to roll in anything yeah so let's let's um, oh, let's keep him where he was yeah. and now we, we are with Gilly and really with Gilly we want to be uh, fighting the orb unfortunately so we need to roll four attack and one defense and not roll any bones because bones are going to be damaged. Yeah, so this, hit, this that might that kill, those, kill those us. Get a, those take effect before the damage does. Well, it, I don't know. But they, it will be simultaneous. It will be simultaneous. I mean, we can rule, use any defense we roll against any bones we roll, but we won't be able to say, oh, we kill him so we don't take the damage. Uh, you want both will happen. What else, do, uh, what else do you want to roll here? Uh, I think that's five dice, isn't it? Oh, well, this is the buckler defense. Oh, you're right. Okay, should I use... It's a good oh, chance to use uh, Brute Buster, maybe. Uh, in, in order to do what? Potentially uh, move away the um, that cobalt so we can reach the orb more easily if we roll a left and right. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. You good to go? Uh, yeah. Okay. So the two bones would offset the two damage that we the two defense. So the two defense will go. So the difference on right. Uh, plus the defense roll will go. Um thinking should I uh, should I move that orc up and I think well 
to I use that up die to move the orc to the orc on the right to uh, to the range position and to two damage on the the orb. Yeah, so two against the orb. The so the brute move. buster works on anybody, right? Uh, on anybody. Yeah, let's move him up. Just give us. I just want to be moving up. Uh, I think that's it for now, and we exhaust the time. Now, what does that do for us? Moving him up. It just it just means that we'll be able to move our guys up. I don't want a, a front oh, just line. So, just so we can us. advance. Yes, uh, if we kill, yeah, we want to be moving our guys up. It's not a a massive advantage, but I think it might potentially be useful. So now I'll be able to move the board up, for example. Right. And okay. So do so one damage to tank. This goes down, this goes up. Yes. And let's roll the three attachments. Let's uh, exhaust the bones, roll the three attachments. Exhaust. Uh, so we're taking. Um, we could actually use it to re uh, restore him to, to three, can't we? So he was, before he acts, we, we activate him, battery goes to two, and oh, then we yeah. can use it to restore it to, to three. Right. And now roll the three, three attachments. Roll the, the three attachments plus two defense on, uh, on the, on tank. Yeah, that hurts. So two damage on on tank. So the, I assume you're going to take the orb out with the firing arm. Yes. And now I will um, just sink in. Let me uh, disable the the hardy cobalt. And let's do three damage on on that on the orc. Three damage, two and one from the prodder. Yeah, we can actually move him up and move the the boat where he is. Oh, because of the prodder. you can move him over here. Yeah, we just ported him and we're moving in his place. That might be handy. So now we are with Tandrum and now we don't have an orb on the battlefield and that's really important. And let's roll, so we have seven, that's five, six, and let's roll away of the wild. Uh, that's seven. And so five attack, way of the wild. Oh. And I'm thinking, what should be the the seventh? Should I roll horn of the zerker? I think it's now or never. Let's roll that one, horn of the zerker. And do the axe collector right away on Gedrix? Um, let's wait. Let's let's see what happens. I'm just thinking, if if I stun them, if I don't stun them, I might kill the orc instead. Because the Gendrix has, has uh, I don't want to remove his defense because I don't want him to be rolling anything. Ah. Because he's bleeding. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six damage, six damage on that body. So he's at one. So uh, let's add the two. Dice on the backup plan. Oh, include yeah, yeah. Uh, not the way, no the way of the wall. Okay. Actually, the way of the wall. Let's put it back. Sorry, shit. Um. Uh, okay, so let's put two bones back. Okay, so we. Uh, the one is the the horn of the zerker reusable. 
Oh. Yeah, and it's. So it's wait, that. so then what was wrong? The way of the world, we don't want it exhausted, or we don't want it on the back. Oh, oh, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is coming up here. And so yeah. Re remove one of the bones and move it. This is going up, and this yep. is going away. All right. Yes, exactly. And should we, is there anything we want to un uh, recover using utility parts at the moment? Uh, I'm just thinking, it's nothing really. Uh, let's use Zach's collector to kill the orc. Not the, the one, the, 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 yeah, the orc. Good, so moving to Nugget. I'm just thinking, where are we moving here? We want, let's move here to, to uh, lane one, uh, left and up for free with dash. Oh. And roll through, I'm just thinking, should we, we want to kill that, uh, that guy, don't we? We don't want to kill, mm, okay. You Two defense. Kill, you want to kill him? No, the other guy, the guy on the top left. He's the biggest priority at the moment. So let's roll two defense. And the long blade. And let's roll tumble as well. Uh, just for the bones. So the long blade is a, a sure guaranteed uh, kill which is really good. Let's place the active uh, slots, uh, the active uh, shields up, and we're gonna use Tumble to move here initiative higher than, than Gilly. And, and there's a reason I'm doing that. I mean, I don't want Gilly to be going against the orb, because the guy who's first on initiative will have to deal with the orb. And that's, Gilly is quite low at the moment. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's assuming the orb, uh well, you don't you don't know where the orb's gonna go. Yeah, but I mean, I I, I don't. I, oh, Gilly relies on attack dice, and he doesn't have many options to do damage without attack dice and mm -hmm. the chance to roll bones. I want the people that are higher than initiative order to be able to kill the orb without rolling much bones, if possible. Just roll long blades, but that that's risk free and having some other options. And and they have more. I mean, Nugget has higher defense as well. She has, you know, I think she's a good, uh, so now we're moving on to the boss. Uh, w was she here? What, what? She, she was after uh, Tantrum. She was after Tantrum, okay. So we're going on Gendrix, and Gendrix will take one, two damage, and roll uh, his, uh, his orb die. And I'm, I'm hoping to not, what's uh -oh. going on? Just a bug. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to give him an auto, uh, a, just a, a defense, just to get the roll button, the roll mm -hmm. by to enable, and we're gonna ignore that. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Better yet, to use it in attack. I will kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what does that do? That um, salamander thing does. It says does one damage to the weakest cobalt and then moves to the closest gear lock and deals two damage to it. So, so let's do two damage on Nugget. So he takes one and does two damage on Nugget, which she absorbs with her uh, shield. So th that's amazing because we don't have the op to worry about and now we can just you know, focus on taking down the enemies and doing damage on, on Gendrix. Mm -hmm. And so now the Cobalt will go and attack uh, Nugget again. And a bone, and there's nothing, and this is going back to the bot. Uh, at the, it's going to go later, but it doesn't matter because, yeah. Yeah. well, it's, it's only have one health, so hardy ability is not going to matter anymore. Right. 
Okay, so round three and two baddies are coming out. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And should we, I'm just thinking, is this a good time to use the rusty optics to move a uh, uh, thing up the initiative order? Let's do that. Um, yeah, let's do that and move him to the top. How did you remember that? I just have, how in the hell do you remember all that? Are you making notes over there? No, not at all. That's, that's, that's like, I, I was tempted to get trip lock, you know, the new game by Chip Theory Games, but because it relies on remembering, I, I thought that, you know, if, if the difficulty comes from me forgetting things, I probably won't enjoy it as much because, you know, I, would, I don't like, I, I like to remember things and not forget things, and I don't want that to be the part of the game. <laughs> so I have to almost like shuffle everything around yeah. to make myself forget to have a bit of a challenge. Anyway, so what am I doing with Tink? Um, I mean, okay, now good, at least I know that I don't have to worry about uh, rolling bones because for now, you know, um, we're doing well in terms of, um, you know, get rid of the orbs. So there's no orb on the battlefield. So I think, I think, let's just roll the three attachments on the bot. And, 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 uh, and two defense dice on, on Tink. Nice. Uh, I probably should put something in the code. I don't have to roll all the attachments at once. Yeah, that would be really useful. So we disable the. We put the air horn on the golem. Air horn on the golem. Yes. Uh, so let's do three damage on it. So one from the proder and two auto damage. Has to and we're going to move the bot in his place. And do, uh, let's do two damage on on, uh, on Gendrix to reduce his set defense. From the, uh, from the firing arm? From the firing arm. And now moving on to Nugget. Okay. So let's roll. Is it or here, dice? So roll three attack, two defense. And the long blade. Okay. Okay, that's four damage, which effectively is just one damage on 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 Gedrix. And and Gedrix gets rid of the um the defense. Yep. And uh, the bone. And move the, ac the active defense up. And yeah. now we're going to use Dash to move her out of the way. Move her under Tundra. Um, so now is, is the gear, the Wolverine's turn. And the Wolverine will move in uh, lane one and, and, and hit G Gendrix. And then it's going to be Gilly's turn. And he can make two damage on Gendrix as well. But let's roll multi arrow. And the reinforced buckler um, free armor. Right. And that's it? Yes. Against Gendrix, let's say. Well, no, let's do it against the Golem, because he's the only one that, you know. Okay, so we, we kill the Golem. And we'll do one damage to Gendrix from the multi arm. And let's move the, bug, the, the die on the backup plan and add the active defense. Okay. Awesome. And move the die on the backup plan. Or did you, you already do uh, that? I thought I did. 
Okay, it doesn't matter. I think we won't need it. Um, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I don't think I did. But that's all right. Okay. So now with uh, tantrum, let's just roll. Let's roll way of the wild as well with his attack dice and 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 one defense. Just if we disable the, uh, you know, the cobble will be able to kill him straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we're going to need to execute him. Okay, so he's disabled. I already did his rage, so he's dead. Yep. This is gone. This it's gone. Uh, move the, the, the shield and the, the bone. Mm -hmm. The bone to the bug plant. And let's use tax collector. On Gendrix. Was was Gendrix on, on two or on three? He was definitely on two. Really? Um, can you look at your log? I, th I thought you was on three. Um, this is. He went from two to oh. one. Unless oh, I, so he's going to die. I think I took too much off some time earlier. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what's the last time we did damage on, on Gendrix? It was with Gilly, right? Um, yeah, it, it, might, it might be, yeah, it might be okay. Yeah. So Gendrix by minus one is two. Yeah, okay, good. So it was at four, we did two damage and now third damage. I'm afraid it's going to die, isn't he? From the what? The, bl the bleed? Oh, the, oh, I didn't do the bleed. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's carry on. Let's kill them. <laughs> you want to get rid of the cobalt? <laughs> yeah, there's going to be two more one-point buddies. I don't know. Okay, that's that's right. I mean, if it was out of video, I mean, usually what I like to do is to to save the the post for last, just kill everybody else, and we could have easily done done so at the moment because it wasn't that much of a, you yeah, know. That was almost too easy. Very yeah, easy. I mean, I think we had some good rolls early on, and there were a couple of cases where things could have gone a lot worse. Uh, actually, overall, we probably had a bit above average rolls, but it was enough. I mean, we could have had some, you know, lot run lot of bones while the orb is in play, for example, and that would have been really, really bad if we didn't have healing options. You know, at the beginning, we took damage on the poison. That was a big thing. If we didn't have that poison body, uh, we had maybe the other dragon, we could have probably killed him before he got to hit us too hard. Um, once again, uh, the crippling effect on the Tyrant is super strong. So you can see how it stacks. You have cripple. We don't even use cripple. Yeah. We had the bolo and we had the woman snare, and combined those were really good. So generally, things that uh, tip off enemies, I find them really, really powerful. Like anything that reduces attack, anything that disables, anything that stuns in the first one or two rounds. It can really turn the game. There is like a few things I wanted to to uh, demonstrate to viewers, just to explain like what are how to to win is um, so debuff is very important. So use the skills that debuff on the most powerful enemies, and try to have options in terms of where you position and who gets hit. So, like a mistake I did in this last fight when I buffed Tandrum's uh, hit points to seven and I couldn't get him hit instead of other gear locks. So mm -hmm. it's important to be able to absorb the hits on gear locks that can take it and can heal back. So that body count, I mean, we, we didn't get to use it at all. And... Uh, so you would think that three gear locks uh, season adventure would be the toughest game. Against, against somebody like, uh, what, Momesh or Duster? Uh, it too might even be hard as well, depending on the composition you have, and especially if you have uh, low initiative. Mm -hmm. So if you play, so low initiative, uh, uh, gear looks like uh, uh, 
purchase a nugget in Boomer and to some extent pick it as well. But pick it at least has his initial defense that gives me a bit of an advantage. But it's like if you start low on the initiative and you're facing some wolves and stuff and you die before you get to act and that's how you lose the encounter. One of the hardest game I played, I think, was against Duster. I was playing with uh, Pickett, Patches, and Nugget, I believe. Did you win? I uh, uh, can't remember. I think it was one of the games that I had uh, a show stopping back with the Golden Golem. But I wasn't doing very well. It was quite difficult because I didn't have enough attack uh, to be, you know, early on to be, you know, killing the enemies quickly. So you almost like tried to fight by attrition. So I was sort of like struggling by the encounters. Uh, but I think, I think they're more viable with, his, with uh, playing on an easier difficulty, obviously. But uh, uh, hardest difficulty, you know, some Yerlofs are definitely, I think, more powerful than others, especially if you know the game really well. Well, thank you so much. This has been very, very valuable to me, uh, hopefully to a lot of other people. Thank so you. Anyway, thank you very dinner much. time for you. Um, uh, enjoy Lunch the rest, time for you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, editing time for me and debu and debugging time for me, but uh, I'll grab a bite. <laughs> thank uh, you so much, George. Thank you. Thank you very much. Be good.